What's up, Nail Geeks? I am back today with Fair Maiden and their anniversary collection. These wonderful ladies have been in business for five years, so be sure to wish their brand a very happy birthday. So they are releasing a five-piece collection in honor of this special event, and they are launching very soon. So without further ado, let's get started. First up is Crystal Drip. This is described as an off-white champagne with iridescent pink-orange magenta shifting flake and golden shimmer. So I'm going to go on a sideline here. This is their new bottles. They used to previously use rectangular type bottles. And we have a new paddle brush. This brush is wonderful, spoiler alert. And you can see here it's just really lovely. So new things paddle brush and now we have round bottles with a new logo which i think is fantastic so this one is what i would consider a jelly base though it does build up very nicely on that second coat which you'll see in just a moment this is what i would consider a very off white but definitely has those lovely champagne tones in that base color there's lots of shimmer to see on this one and a very iridescent feeling from the flakes which i had no problems with they laid down nice and flat for me for opacity i'm going to suggest two coats on this one though if you are rocking those longer nails i would suggest going in with a third thin coat so that brush definitely helps build up on the nail especially if you've got wide load nails like myself and you can see here that buildup is very nice. This is such a unique color, and I mean that in the best way possible. Um, it is a warm tone. However, I thought it looked fantastic on me. Um, just really, really pretty, very unique, and just super interesting. I really enjoyed the iridescent feel from this one and how it looks on the final look. After top coating with my normal top coat, I had no texture. And next we have Ultimatum. This is a tri-thermal polish that shifts from a light orchid in the warmest state to a blurple in the cold state and a dark smoky plum in the coldest state, packed with blue to green shifting iridescent flakes and a soft violet shimmer. So this is another one that feels kind of jelly-like to me on application, though I would mostly classify this one in a Crelly uh, category. So here on the first coat, we have really nice buildup. I am absolutely in love with this brush. It has a firm feeling. So I know some paddle brushes tend to fan out, but this one kind of does that, but it just feels a little more firm on the brush strokes, which I mean that in a good way. I really enjoy that. Um, definitely helps with controlling where the polish is going on your nails. So this is packed full of those flakes. They really, really pop like crazy in person, um, giving you a really glowy look. So I wore this one for a few days after I swatched it, and this is just really reactive in person on those thermal properties. Now in the south here in Texas, we are getting um, cold weather, shockingly, and I was running a little cold when I was swatching this. So in the video here on the application, you are seeing it in the kind of medium to colder state on my free edge. Um, but just know I'm about to show you guys with some hot water what that cold state looks like. So uh, side note, I had no texture or anything like that after top coating. And you can see here with that cold water, that really cold state, that really nice dark smoky plum. And I was pleasantly surprised in the warm water, how that pink just popped like crazy. I would classify that warm color as a dusky orchid pink. And next we have Unwritten. This is a rosy gold base with shimmer and iridescent flakes that shift green to gold and red and hollow sparkle throughout. This reminds me of something vintage, like, and I mean that in a good way. It reminds me of like a really pretty dress. It's kind of light and airy, but it's just got that really little bit of extraness with the shimmer here. So that base color, definitely agree. It's a rosy gold, um, almost feels like a dusky mauve in my opinion. It starts off just a touch on the sheer side, but you can see on that second coat, it'll really start to pop. Now for opacity on this one, I'm gonna suggest between two and three coats, depending on how you want to wear it. And you can see on that second coat, that shimmer really starts to pop. It will warm up the overall look really nicely and give it that nice antique type of almost goldish, almost copperish type feel. It's very pretty, very um, ethereal in person. And we have a lot of hollow sparkle going throughout this. I would not classify this as a linear hollow, but just know I do feel like it is a more dense scattered hollow personally. 
So here I did take it up to three coats just to really see how much I can plump it out and really exploit that shimmer. And I really felt like it just crazy popped here on the third coat. So really pretty, very vintage feeling. Like I said, I just get that vibe from it. Now, after top coating, I had no texture with it. Everything was good to go. Personally, I would recommend a specifically glossy top coat on this one just to really get those hollow sparkles to really pop. And next we have Legendary. This is a golden green to blue multi-chrome with flakes that shift magenta, gold, green, and blue. This one is really interesting to me. So in the bottle, it looks like a straight up multi-chrome, though it applies like a Crelly in my opinion. So really going to depend once again um, on how you wear it for opacity i would suggest between two and three coats though honestly i feel like at two coats you're going to be good to go so here on that first first coat you can see um, those flakes are really nice they really pop against that background now i want to know in person you'll see that inner like that middle glow as uh, more of a goldish type green and then on angles you'll see it with that emerald green in the edges around your nail so on angles and in shaded lighting you'll see that blue shift come out um, it is very obvious in person i did try to catch it on some of my macro shots which i will link in the recap at the end of the video now i had no issues with those flakes they laid down nice and flat for me they picked up out of the bottle very easily and no problems to report with that after top coating, I had no texture either. And finally, we have Velveteen. This is a plush, warm, medium plum base with a fiery copper to red shift. Definitely my top pick in the collection. Um, I think these were all absolutely beautiful, but this one really stole my heart. Um, you guys know I am a bit biased when it comes to that copper shift in a plum or bluish type base, and I really enjoyed this one. So this has a creamy feel on application. It definitely stays put while you place it on the nail. Now in person, once you build it up, you'll see that gorgeous copper um, glow to it, which is really, really strong in person, which you'll see, or rather get a better idea on the full hand shot. And you'll easily see that red shift too. It's very, very pretty. I would almost want to classify this as a somewhat neutral type multi-chrome. And I mean that mostly because of that base color. So you can see it in person, um, kind of in the background, but that multi-chrome shimmer in here just really pops and it just takes over the whole look. So we have really nice self leveling here and for opacity, I'm going to suggest two coats. On the full hand shot here, you are seeing a glossy top coat applied and you can really get an idea of that red and copper kind of melding going on in the final look. Now the anniversary collection will launch November 15th on Fair Maiden's website. Each polish will retail for 11 or you could grab the entire set, the five piece set for 45. I'll link you guys below to Fair Maiden's website as well as their Facebook fan group if you'd like to take a peek in there and my blog post for additional written review. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.